talk about is taking a traditional idea, striking your front hand, and actually adding elements to it where it becomes more than just a regular punch. And the traditional arts will give you a punch, one hand. And that's great. Great movement, great striking, great idea. The problem is we still have to deal with people that move and change and adapting to live opponents. So we're going to take that same strike and we're going to add some elements to it that could be developed. Now, he could come in with a nice stiff shot or he could back up and whip it. So the power output changes. One is speed. You might be working with a rigid opponent and you stick him with a stiff one and you're controlling his body weight. You might be dealing with an elusive opponent that you only have a second to hurt. The other thing he could work on is the angles of his attack. So let's say I turn him this way and you're looking over my shoulder a little bit and he can come in straight, he can take an angle, cut the other way. So he can split the angle with his footwork by moving that triangle one inch at a time. Inches and triangles. You don't have to move a lot. Again, straight in, slip, other swipe. And he splits the lines, and that's what he's working on. You add another element to it to find the sweet spot of his range, because he has to understand his range. He doesn't want to overshoot, overshoot the shot pass, where his weight is sacrificed. He wants to have the ability to strike and back up and control distance. Strike and stick and apply pressure. Strike and one, two, and continue pressure. He wants to know his range and his distance. So what he's going to do now is he's going to react to me questioning his range, letting him know there's a threat, and reacting to the timing. You want to start doing this by giving people time to work. In other words, you might say, move around a little bit, one 1,000, two 1,000. Make sure you can see it. Don't make him feel a lot of pressure. But when they get good, you're shooting shots at him and you're moving. He's reacting to that. Now we got it. Boom. Touch, boot, stick. Stick. And you're getting that timing out of him. Making him work. So that simple punch now has dimensions. Thank you. My penis is huge now. So we're going to have a moment of truth, but I'd like to thank the guys who are here helping me out. Darren's in from San Diego. He's a wonderful instructor in San Diego, martial arts, and a kick-ass yoga guy. So I've got to give him love in both directions. He's actually originally from the UK, which segues into Warren, who's training with us here from the UK. He's put a week in here to get his hands a little sharper. You guys have seen him on film. He's te technically amazing, but there's still work you can do off your front and rear hand. And he came here specifically to get those tools in. I also like to thank Nick. Plays with an amazing band. He's got a good voice. So, but the moment of truth that I want to talk about is value systems. And all of us here have been sucked into a value system, meaning that you create a false value based on a story or based on a person's product that they're selling. They'll say lineage or Sifu says, instead of saying, let me show you how I do it and let me show you how to get better at what you're doing. You want to always make sure you're not losing time and money on someone selling something to you with no facts behind it. When you're working with someone, they should be able to execute their skill set. They should make you comfortable. They shouldn't say, you're not ready. You can't learn that yet. If they're saying that to you, they're just trying to milk you. They have to come in and say, hey, you know what? I can do this. You can do this. Let's work it. You'll know if you're not ready because you're not getting it down. And they got to give you that environment that you can find that out in.